In the hushed corners of a town nestled between the folds of time, a question lingers in the air like a poignant melody, what happened to John Amos? At the age of 84, his life stands as a testament to the enigmatic dance between joy and sorrow, etched in the lines on his weathered face. As we step into the shadows of this narrative, we embark on a journey through the sepia-toned alleys of John Amos's past, seeking answers to the mysteries that unfold in the twilight of his years. Born on December 27, 1939, in Newark, New Jersey, John Amos emerged from the humble roots of a family anchored by Annabelle and John A. Amos Sr., an auto mechanic. His journey traversed the streets of East Orange, where he spent his youth and graduated from East Orange High School in 1958. Venturing further, he donned the cap of a social worker, earning a degree in sociology from Colorado State University after a stint at Long Beach City College. Not just an academic, Amos showcased his prowess on the football field. Making strides as a Golden Gloves boxing champion post-graduation, his journey into the hearts of viewers began with his inaugural major TV role as Gordy Howard, the affable weatherman on the Mary Tyler Moore Show from 1970 to 1973. In a poignant turn of events, following the passing of Betty White, Amos and Joyce Bullifant found themselves as the last surviving semi-regular cast members of the show, a testament to the enduring legacy of their performances. However, it was Amos's portrayal of James Evans Sr., the resilient father on Good Times, that resonated most profoundly. Cast as a hard-working patriarch in a struggling African-American family, Amos, at 34 during the show's 1973 production, faced an age paradox, only eight years older than his on-screen son, Jimmy Walker, and nearly two decades younger than his screen wife, Esther Roll. In his pursuit to present a positive image of the African-American experience, Amos found himself at odds with the creative direction of Good Times. Openly clashing with the show's writers, he voiced his dissatisfaction with the script's lack of authenticity, leading to his dismissal at the end of season 3 in 1976. The clash underscored his commitment to portraying a more nuanced and genuine representation of African-American life. Amos's career continued to unfold with diverse roles, from the Archie Bunker-style character in the short-lived sitcom 704 Hausa to Captain Dolan on Hunter. His television journey embraced iconic appearances in The West Wing, Men in Trees, and a recurring role in Two and a Half Men and The Ranch. Beyond television, Amos showcased his talents on Broadway in August Wilson's Gem of the Ocean and as the writer and producer of the critically acclaimed one-man play, Halley's Comet. His musical endeavors took center stage in 2009 with the release of We Were Hippies, an album featuring original country songs. More recently, in 2021, Amos starred in because of Charlie, portraying the patriarch of an estranged stepfamily weathering a Florida hurricane in 2004. The accolades followed Amos throughout his career, with an Emmy nomination for Roots, nominations for a Cable ACE Award, an NAACP Image Award, and a DVD Exclusive Award. Notably, he secured three TV Land Awards for his roles on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Good Times, and the TV miniseries Roots. In recognition of his enduring contributions, Amos received the honor of induction into the New Jersey Hall of Fame in 2020. In a twist of financial events, 2021 saw John Amos, the acclaimed actor, facing the auction block for his residence in Lebanon, New Jersey. The house, purchased in 1990 for $337,000, underwent a turbulent journey that culminated in foreclosure and a bank auction, ultimately fetching approximately $290,000. The fluctuations in the property's value over the years add a layer of complexity to Amos's real estate narrative. In December 2016, amidst financial challenges, Amos attempted to sell the house for $439,000, but unfortunately, no buyer emerged. This stark contrast in the proposed selling price and the eventual auction value underscores the financial hardships that Amos navigated in recent times. In June 2023, the family of renowned actor John Amos launched a GoFundMe campaign with the goal of raising $500,000 to aid the 84-year-old actor amid claims of elder and financial abuse. Amos's daughter, Shannon, asserted that her father had fallen victim to mistreatment, prompting the family to seek both financial support and legal recourse through the crowdfunding platform. Shannon revealed the distressing turn of events that transpired in May, recounting a call she received while out of the country informing her that her father had been hospitalized in Memphis. Tennessee, the situation escalated as Shannon's family friend, dispatched to Memphis, discovered Amos in the intensive care unit, fighting for his life. 
It was during this trying period that the family unearthed the unsettling truth John Amos had become a victim of elder abuse and financial exploitation. The family's decision to open a GoFundMe stemmed from the need for financial assistance in obtaining legal representation and addressing Amos's medical needs. Shannon emphasized that the funds raised would be earmarked for her father's care, legal fees, and post-treatment necessities. The campaign's narrative painted a bleak picture of Amos's current state, including an invaded home stripped of valuables, compounded by a challenging recovery journey ahead due to health challenges. Shannon, without explicitly naming individuals, hinted that the alleged abuse was perpetrated by a trusted caregiver, an act of betrayal that has left the family devastated. The plea for financial support underscored the extensive medical care and rehabilitation John Amos would require. Even though specific details about the severity of his injuries were not disclosed. As of the present writing, the family has not achieved its $500,000 goal, but the response from fans worldwide has been notable. The outpouring of support signals a collective desire to assist the iconic, American dad, in his recovery process. Since the beginning of this year, John Amos has been traveling around the country with KC. On TikTok, his son described their journey as a buddy comedy while Shannon and the other cast members the actor's personal and professional circles viewed the spectacle with distaste. Especially since it included stays at medical facilities in multiple states. In the crisp October air, the duo descended upon Los Angeles for business dealings, providing a snapshot into their world during a rendezvous with THR at the Marina del Rey Hotel. Here, KC, donned in a psychedelic shirt and wayfarers, assumed an ever-shifting persona on TikTok, sometimes solemn, occasionally sad, and yet at times impassive, amassing a substantial following. Meanwhile, John, ensconced in his wheelchair, maintained a serene composure, responding to inquiries with his signature dignified baritone, he occasionally nodded off, prompting gentle nudges from his son. When questioned about his health, John asserted, I feel very healthy at 84 years old. In the midst of their peculiar journey, father and son sought to unravel certain aspects of their narrative. Amid shared moments steeped in their mutual love for the Grateful Dead, they embarked on the creation of a feature-length documentary. America's Dad, directed by KC, the pair harbors aspirations of acquiring a beachfront retreat in Jamaica, envisioning it as a haven. Despite John's reprisal of his role in the 2021 sequel, Coming to America, there are no intentions of abandoning his acting pursuits in his ninth decade. John remarked, Spend the rest of my life sitting there watching the waves? Not when there are so many stories to tell. Amidst whispers about the purported frivolity of their TikTok escapades, the duo remains unfazed, treating themselves as delightful vignettes. From reciting old Three Stooges skits to lip-syncing to McFadden and Whiteheads, ain't no stopping us now, they revel in the joy of their shared journey, dismissing criticisms and embracing the perks that accompany newfound influence. In their digital escapades, they find not just self-expression but a testament to the resilience of a spirited duo marching to the beat of their own TikTok rhythm. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.